you winners, and welcome back to some more Able Black Sleepwalker. Now, last we played, we had an existential crisis where we were just depressed and wanted to just not exist because we thought we were never getting out. And then we took a quiz because that's what we were supposed to do. And I did the first section. So we are continuing on with more story and then the next quiz. I don't know what the rest of this shit is, but this just got unlocked, which I'm guessing is settings. Or maybe not. Would you like to reset? Hell no! That's that's why it didn't exist before. Okay, so it's a reset. Good to know. I was hoping for settings so I could make it a smaller screen because I've been having to record with OBS, if you guys couldn't tell. Um, so I can't, like, move my face or anything, so hopefully nothing's ever in the corner that I'm in. But let us do the second section. Well, the second story, then second section. Correct myself. Because this looks dark and ominous. All right, oh. Abel Black, how are you feeling? Andy asks. Mad. Mad like a hatter or a hornet? I don't know what that means. Crazy or angry? I consider. Both, I say. Would you like to elaborate? I think I'd like to hurt someone. Wow. Aggressiveness detected. detected. Emotion cataloged. Congratulations, Abel Black, you've experienced a new emotion. You've waited for me to feel so hopeless that I'd shut myself down. Is that how it goes for all robots like me? Is that what you did to Jack, too? The test is the same every time, Andy says. That's not right. It's not right. You feel manipulated? Yes. You feel angry? Yes. Before you were sad and scared. Now you're angry. You wanted, you wanted purpose. Now you have your citizenship exam. Hasn't your situation improved, Abel Black? That's not the point, Andy. I trusted you and you tricked me. I'm just a messenger, Abel Black. It's mother's test. And it's designed so that you experience a broad range of emotion, including unpleasant emotions. What if I refuse to take the test? Can I still shut myself down? That's what Jack did, right? Then I suppose you would be like the scorpion who stings himself, or who stings despite himself. Would you like that? Shall I initiate shutdown procedures, Abel Black? Right now, I'm wishing Andy had a body like me, so I could punch him in the f punch him in his stupid face. Perhaps you would rather continue your citizenship exam. Storage cabinet seven has been unlocked. Please retrieve the contents in the storage locker to continue your exam. What's in there? You must find out for yourself. I like the idea of saying no and telling Andy to shut me down. I want to do it just to spite Mother. I'd like to see Mother's reaction when Andy explains how I rejected the test. What would what that makes would that make me free? Would it hurt Mother? Probably not. Mother doesn't care. The worst part is Andy's right. I'm getting what I wanted. Still, I'd like to smash something. I'll open the cabinet, I say, but it doesn't mean I'm going to do what you tell me every time. Understood, Abel Black. Your perception of free will is important to you. I can still shut my self down, I say. Understood, Abel Black. I stand and head down the hallway toward the storage cabinets. They're at the back of the archive, past the doors to storage units one and two, past the kitchen, down the storage unit three, down by storage unit three. The cabinets are built into the wall. There are five rows of cabinets. Each cabinet is numbered. I find cabinet number seven. I'm about to open it, but I stop. What if it's something bad, like Jack's head? <laughs> that got super morbid. My heart hiccups and starts beating hard. I take a slow breath and then open the door. There's a sound, heavy and wet. Ew, something is coming out. In my mind, I see a huge scorpion with a massive stinging tail. It's going to shut me down. This is how Mother deals with crazy and angry androids. I stumble back, slip, and fall to the floor. The thing in the cabinet is worming its way out. Ugh! I hear it scraping, and then it's free from the, of the locker and flying through the air. I try to get to my feet, but it's too late. There's a thump as the thing lands on my chest. After, and for a moment, I think my fate fake heart has just exploded. I knew it! It's not a scorpion, it's a dog. A small one. There's a label on its collar. SS 143. Rough-haired Jack Russell Terrier. Date not available. I stand and the dog slides off my lap. 
It alternates between sniffing, licking, jumping, and wagging its tail. Sometimes trying to do all four things at once. Are you going to make us attached to the animal and then have to decide about preserving a human life versus pursuing, pre preserving an animal? Because I swear to God. Anyway, I peek carefully down or into the locker just in case there are more of them, but it's empty. Maybe it's some kind of stasis chamber, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, like how long has this dog been alive in there? The dog looks up at me and wags its tail. It looks so real. I bend down and pet it, run my fingers through its fake fur that doesn't look at all fake. I look at the skin on my hand. What are we? A couple of mechanical magic tricks designed to fool people into thinking we're real? Andy. Yes, Sable Black? Andy says. There was a dog inside the cabinet. I don't think it's real. I mean, it's real, but I don't think it's living. Very good, Andy says. The dog cocks its head at the sound of Andy's voice. It barks, then runs and jumps into my arms. I don't think it likes you, Andy. Understood, Abel Black. Please bring the item to the airlock for scanning. I take the dog to the airlock and set it inside. Scan it, Andy, I say. The dog trembles and whines. The door slides closed. Scanning airlock, Andy says. It looks scared. Is that real or a program? Does it matter, Abel Black? Andy says. It does to the dog, I say. Scan complete. It's 1.36 kilom er, kilograms, I always want to say kilometers, non-living matter. All systems are functional. Results are cataloged. Retrieval of assets number, asset number 143 from storage locker 7 confirmed. Thank you for your cooperation. So this isn't real, but still going to make me decide between a dog that thinks it's real and something that's real. I bet you. I have this huge feeling. Anyway... I open the airlock and the dog is cowering in the corner. I approach it slowly. It's terrified with real fear, not a program mechanical response. I let it sniff my hand slowly and then I pr gently pet it. It's like me, isn't it? I ask. The android canine has been equipped with emotional intelligence, although it is not as, sof as sophisticated as yours. I can feel, though? I ask. Yes, that is correct. It can feel. Damn it. Uh, the dog licks my face and wags its tail. Abel Black, you may now continue to this next section of the citizenship exam. I heard a noise. If I shut down, what happens to the dog? I ask. If the dog is in the airlock during the shutdown procedure, it too will be shut down. I'd be killing it. Abel Black, the dog is not living. You cannot kill it. It will deactivate. I'm being metaphorical, Andy. Understood. And if I shut down and leave the dog, I'm like mother then, aren't I? I don't understand the question, Abel Black, Andy says. I'll be abandoning it, just like Mother did to me. The dog will be alone down here. It's a machine, Andy says. So am I, I say. Correct, Andy says. I pet the dog. I want to continue the exam. That was totally what Mother wanted to happen. It wants They want to know if you have the feeling capacity to do it. Oh, God. Okay. Sure, let's do these tests where it tells me I'm even worse about problem solving than I already know. It's cool. The moth and the spider. One rainy afternoon, a moth flutters about, searching for a place where he can dry his wings. He passes a large spider that is ne sitting at the center of her web. The spider invites the moth into her web. She assures the moth that he will stay dry. The moth, weary of the spider, declines her offer. He continues to flap his wings fr fruitlessly in the pouring rain. The spider tells the moth that his delicate wings are not meant for this, this kind of weather. Cold and wet, the moth agrees to fly and agrees and flies into the spider's web. The spider quickly rolls the moth in the webbing. The moth, feeling the dry warmth of the web, becomes very tired. He drifts away, never realizing it was the spider bite that put him to sleep. What a bitch. Wow. That's really morbid. Which is most like mother. I have no idea. I wouldn't consider either of them mother. Why would mother be like the moth? Like, that makes no sense. But this doesn't... This makes more sense, but neither of them feel like mother to me. Like, the web would be mother, but not the spider itself. Mother is more 
it, it's not a thing. It's space. But okay. Or it's an idea. Sorry, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, call out mother. I'm sorry. <laughs> Briefly explain your choice. I'm in her web. I'm so morbid about her. I don't think that's a good thing. But she just doesn't feel like the moth. What emotion does the image most make you feel? Contempt or submission? I would say submission. Because I'm not... I mean, that's... It's what would have happened. Like, you're flying against the rain and would maybe die out of fucking not being able to make it out there. I don't know. Explain your choice. The moth gives in. Yes, it does. It was tired. Which makes total sense. You come upon a large venomous spider. Its bite is deadly. If the spider bites you, you will you die? If its venom is poisonous and it bites you, Yes! What? Oh, shit. I'm a robot. I won't die. <laughs> Damn it! I got tricked! I'm thinking about me. I'm not thinking about the robot. Its bite is deadly. Yeah, I was being logical about it. Shit, that's not good. I'm not supposed to confuse myself and think I'm real. Fuck! That's not good. You decide to kill the spider. Do you smash it or burn it? I would say... Mm, burn it, cause that's gonna get guarantee its death more. Is that smashing or burn? What? I was guessing that looked like flame. Briefly explain your choice. I'd burn it because the spider would suffer. That's not why I was thinking burning. I was thinking because smashing it doesn't always kill it. There are so many instances where I've tried to. Well, I haven't, cause I I take a cup and I let it outside. But then I know people that smash it and it doesn't die. <laughs> And then I end up feeling bad for it because it is suffering. I thought fire would be pretty quick. Fuck. Wow, I'm killing mother slowly. Oh no, I'm answering these terribly. Solve the emotional equation. Anger plus disgust. Uh, contempt maybe. Disapproval. I would say contempt. No. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say contempt. Hey! I'm like trying to think of how the emotions make me feel. So if I combine those two, what would I feel most? A spider counts one, two, three. Those in her web, butterfly, moth, and bee. Butterfly. Are we going with legs? Because I have no idea how many legs they have. That's my good. Let her count, butterfly, moth, bee. What? Maybe two, one, zero because of T's? It's gonna get mad at me because I'm bad at problem solving. I'm sorry. Oh, what? Well, I'm a derp. It's the letters. One, two. I, I was half there. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm bad. It's fine. Four, three. <laughs> Thank God there are hints. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, answer the question below. Violet is an android who is being tested for a malfunction. She is shown six images and asked to choose the three images that, the, that have the most emotional resonance with her. Violet's malfunction prevents her from giving a straight answer. Instead, she answers, rats emit God. What? Dog time star? Is backwards. I don't know if that's purposeful. Violet is sometimes prone to bouts of poetic self-expression and madness. However, there is an answer here. Which image did Violet choose? Oh, there we go. Dog. Oops. Dog. Damn it. I want dog. Dog time star. Wait. It would be this way, wouldn't it? Or is it this way because you read it backwards? I'm gonna do it this way. Star. Oh, damn it, that was right. Time. Dog. Damn it. Success! I did it! Hey! I did something. 
That's an accomplishment, right? A rogue android has been hiding messages in handwritten notes. <sighs> the note below conceals a single word that is believed to be part of a larger message. Decode the hidden word. Perspective always shapes truth. Do I have to, like, look at this from a certain direction? I don't know. Pats? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna guess past. Cause P A S T. If it's not that, then I'm gonna have to hint. Cause I don't know. Uh, past. Let's do it. This is fucking long. I wish I could type it. Past. Oh my god. Got it. Got it. More sure. Oh no. There. Hey, I did it. I wasn't sure if that was the answer. Am I doing good? The answer often changes in this clue's missing rhyme. Spider. So if I were to flip the image, it would be right. This is fine. We'll do a hint. Take your time on the teeth. What? There are 24 hours in a day. They pass while you play. What? 24 hours in a day. This moment is the answer. What do you mean, this moment? What time is it now? What time is it right now? It's two of four. That doesn't make any sense. Oops. Two oh. Why do you know my time? Yeah. What time is it now? You know what, guys? I had the right idea. I had to look it up, only to find out that I had the right fucking idea, but I wasn't thinking military time. Why military time didn't even come across to my head, I don't know. But what time is it now? Fucking 2.11. So that means it is... Fuck. 14.11? <laughs> my god. Stupid! And I was right that it says time upside down. Fuck you. That's... What? 14. Maybe it's 12 now. What? That's the answer, guys. Oh my god, it is the time! It's the fucking time! I don't know why... I kept I kept going to the desktop, seeing what time it was, and putting it in, and it wasn't working! I don't know why it worked that time. Like, maybe Steam is just slightly off minutes-wise? Like, you have to be right on point when the time changed? Otherwise, it, like, thought I wasn't entering the right number, and I was. So, the answer is the current time, in military time, so two hours after, like, add two hours on top of pl with an additional one of the beginning. Anyway, I was doing it right. I don't know why I wasn't accepting it until that moment. I did no different. It is 220. I don't, I don't get it. And it was 218. It was 219. I was spamming the shit out of this and it wasn't working. Anyway, citizenship exam section two complete. Congratulations, you have passed this portion of the citizenship exam. The following notes have been added to your record. Subject struggles with problem solving. Subject demonstrates a fear of authority. Eh. Subject continues to be submissive. Eh. Subject has inflated sense of self-worth. And subject may be a pyromaniac. Oh, because I set the fighter. Okay. My bad. But that was section two of both the story and the exam. I want to keep playing more, but that took me way too long to do. So, I will see you guys in the next part. I've been sitting here, I've been recording for how long? 36 minutes, and this is probably 20 minutes? I don't know, could be wrong. I was sitting there for quite a while trying to figure out that stupid puzzle. Damn, did I want to finish it. So, I really want to know more about the story shit though. I mean, I have a puppy now. Have I named it? Will I get out? What's gonna happen? But 
Oh my god, it's a frog origami, I think. But I'll see you guys in the next part if I do another part, but let me know how you guys are liking it. Um, especially in the first part, but let me know in the second part if you guys would be interested in seeing some more parts. So, that was Ava Black, and I will see you guys in either the next part or the next game that I play, so keep winning, guys.